So, is there a reason you wake up every morning? To be honest, at one stage in my life, I felt there wasn't. Life got so rough because I didn't know who to talk to or where to go. And that's where social media helped me. At the time, I wasn't out to my family, but I found a support base online. I connected with so many people who understood me and knew how I was feeling and what I was going through. Growing up, I always felt out of place. The only way I can describe it is I felt like I was a broken jigsaw piece. I just didn't fit. I was never a feminine girl. I never liked dresses or had an interest in makeup. I never connected with the word girl. I remember growing up on social media and my family commenting on pictures saying, oh, you look so pretty or growing up to be such a beautiful young lady. And although I should have been happy, it hurt. I never knew why I felt this way until I came across a video on YouTube. The video was called Female to Male Transition. I remember my first thought was, wow, I can actually connect with how this guy is feeling. And I was terrified. I was terrified because at as young as 14 years old, I had discovered who I was. I instantly started researching more and more and came across a sea of people just like me. Realizing I wasn't alone due to social media was comforting. It gave me the confidence to start posting videos on YouTube myself. I started YouTube the day after my 15th birthday. I didn't have any idea of where it was going to lead or how quick my channel would grow. I started making videos to create a safe space for people because I know what it felt like to feel lost and alone. Within a year, I have created a support base of over 15,000 followers. Reading their messages about how I've helped them come out and feel comfortable in who they are is the most rewarding feeling I could ask for. Having this platform also comes with negative consequences. I get hate comments on YouTube most days, and although it hurts, I always have a thousand times more support every day. People sometimes don't understand why so many people use social media in today's generation. They also don't understand most of today's issues in the world. One being the LGBT plus community. But due to social media, a lot more people have been given the courage to be who they truly are. Whether they are in the LGBT plus community or not. Social media gives a voice and lets them know they're being listened to and understood and everyone deserves to be listened to and respected. No matter their race, religion, sexuality or gender identity, everyone deserves to feel valid. And social media does that for so many people. But to answer your question fully, I wake up every day to help others the way I needed to be helped myself at one stage in my life. I wake up every day for my supportive friends and my amazing family. I wake up every day to help others wake up every day. I wake up every day to be me, to be Jackson. We are a generation built on social media. And although to many people this may seem like a bad thing, we know that at just the click of a button, we are not alone.